Here's one last year end list for you. The best specs for a great bowl game. How about two proud teams? The Gators and Canes. Each with something to prove after subpar seasons. Each with added incentive. For a coach dismissed. And a senior leader who will be missed. And each with a deep in the bones dislike for each other. Vying for the title. Best team in Florida. As the clock winds down in 2004, count on this. Florida Miami will be one heck of a party in the Peach Bowl. Welcome back to Atlanta and to the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl on ESPN. It's the number 19 ranked Florida Gators and the number 14 ranked Miami Hurricanes. As Mike pointed out, I'm not so sure that the noise might give a little edge to the University of Florida. They seem to have sold a few more tickets. Florida has won the toss. They have deferred. It will be Miami receiving. Start out right away, Ron. Do not kick to Devin Hester. Well, Petrovich is the man who has it teed up and has the task of making sure that he does not kick to that number four. Hester is back there with Darnell Jenkins, number eight, and both are plenty dangerous. Here comes the kick. Very deep. He's got to go four yards deep, but he'll return it, and this is Hester. Tries to reverse his field, hit for the ankle, and tackled at the 16-yard line. Now a Miami Hurricane, Brock Berlin. He has to carry this offensive football team. They have a lot of injuries at tight end. They want him tonight between 20 and 25, if possible. Gets the pitch, first down. Going to have five yards. He'll take it out to around the 20-yard line. So the remainder of the offense, it'll be Gore along with Humphrey, is at fullback. Buck Ortega, keep this in mind. Miami down to two tight ends. That's it. Leggett, the outstanding freshman at one of the wide receiving areas. And Roscoe Parrish on the other side. The offensive line, Butler, Tella, Rodriguez. Derek Morris, the right guard, and Chris Myers is the right tackle. Well, we'll see if that comes true. Second down on a about five and a half yards to pick up the first, and Berlin play action. Got a set deep in the pocket. Here comes pressure. Drills it deep over the middle, and it's overthrown up around the 30-yard line. And as we take a look at the defensive starters for the Gators, Cohen Thomas, who just had the pressure on the quarterback, Kenny Parker, and Jeremy Mency, the down four. The linebackers, outstanding. Everett, Seiler, and Travis Harris. And in the secondary, Webb and Hill at the corners, Herring and Kyle Jackson at the safeties. Wide receivers, pretty good splits. Option route. Six, seven yard routes, get the first down. Good protection this time. Pass is knocked away. Nice defensive play. Corey Bailey, the senior out of Miami. Brian Monroe, a sophomore out of Palm Beach Gardens. Left footer gets the kick away. Good coverage kick. Very, very high. Signal for the fair catch. And then Chris Lee, sophomore out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And Mike, talk about his abilities because the upside on this youngster, most people think, is absolutely outstanding. Mason is the lone setback as they will go with two tight ends and three wide receivers. Fake the pitch to Faison. They got a man wide open. Somebody blew a coverage and he didn't seem. And the pass is thrown for a short four-yarder when you look back at the isolation. So the rest of the starters at offense, Faison and Latchko. It'll be Casey at tight end, Small and Baker, the wide receivers. The offensive line will check it in just a moment as they are back at the line of scrimmage with a second down and eight. Option play into the boundary. Nobody to pitch to. He's going to be knocked down for a two-yard loss. This is the way they'll start. Colin in hand at the tackles. Butler and Mitchell, the guards. And Mike DeGore is the center. Both defenses really looking sharp on the opening series. O.J. Small in motion. Deep drop by Lee. Here comes pressure. Going to run it. 40. Goes down. It'll be punting time didn't seem and if they throw it they're up seven to nothing on the first play of the ball game for them offensively that is high wobbly kick Hester gonna take it no fair catch 20 25 gets by one tackler and then runs back into the pursuit of the Gators Miami two tight ends two wide receivers that's Ortega 
He was starting at tight end tonight. He's the number three. And the handoff goes to Gore. And Gore, you can see a headgear comes flying out of the pile. As this time, a two-back set with Humphrey at fullback. And Gore, the man at the top of the eye. They'll give it to Gore. Right at the middle. Small hole. Breaks through at 30. Out to the 33. And we'll see how much he's able to go tonight. He's had a groin problem. Good protection. Now, right over the middle, threw it very low, and it's incomplete. Darnell Jenkins, the usual punt returner. Monroe, high pass, and he got it blocked. It is on the ground at the 18-yard line and recovered by the Florida Gators, number 18, Tony Joyner. Tate Casey, the tight end, number 84, flips from the right side to the left. Looking, leak. Out in the flat, and that one is caught at the 15-yard line. Shoved out of bounds is Dale Dallas Baker. Dallas Baker. Gain of about four and a half. Straight ahead, it is Seattric Faison. And Faison, they need about a yard and a half to pick up the first down. You can see Leak going down. Scrimmage making sure the linemen hear it, because it is very noisy here in the Georgia Dome. I don't think he has the first down. Not from where the linesman has come in. Need a timeout. Flag goes down, pass is caught at the five, down to the two-yard line, let's go. Number 81, offense, never got set, found our ability, repeat, fourth down. Matt Leach to attempt it, he's 12 of 16 this year. Good pass, the ball is blocked. Picked up, and that's Hester. Hester up the sideline. You're not going to catch it. 30. Count it off. 20, 15, 10, 5 into the end zone. And the flag has gone down, and that's going to be for the celebration from the 15 on in. And it'll cost him just that, 15 yards. Yep. Going to be the call. University of Miami up by 7 0, and he does. So let's take a timeout. 8.26 left in this opening period. Miami on the scoreboard first. In a hurry. Jackson and McCollum, the two deep men, and here's the kick. Got a bound to the ground to be taken at the 17-yard line by Miami's McCollum. Hit here comes off as they are really popping, and he's down at the 36-yard line. Because of a non-pickup by the quarterback leak, they should have scored on the opening play. Then they give up the block. And it goes seven. That's a 14-point turnaround. Leak stepping up under pressure. Flag is down, and he'll be sacked at the 32. And he'll go from the shotgun on the second at 14. Leak now dropping back. Hit. Going to be sacked. He'll move it forward to the 25-yard line. This time it's Thomas Carroll. Florida's only run the football one time. Well, they've got a tight end to his side this time. So he's up on the line of scrimmage, and it's a draw play. Faison, 30, puts a head down. Tough run up to around the 34-yard line. It's 57. Second punt by Florida tonight, and this is a lazy, wobbling spiral. Fair catch is called for. Channing Crowder into the ball game at linebacker, number 55. That's good news for Gator fans. On first down. Handoff goes straight up the middle of Gore. Short yardage. Maybe has a yard and a half, and that's it. Two tight ends set. Little play action by Berlin. Protection breaks down now. Dumps it out and overthrows his tight end Ortega. Berlin 0 of 3. Gets this one. Middle screen. Runs into his own lineman and gets knocked down by Butler. Second punt by the Hurricanes. Short kick, wobbly spiral. Going to hit behind the Gunners, and now it's going to be taken by Florida. Picked up at the 20-yard line, and then out of bounds is Vernell Brown. And that other play that you saw, the very first snap from center for the Florida Gators. Outside, number 44, defense. Jump in the neutral zone. Causing the offense to fall strike. Five-yard penalty. First down. Leak. Goes through the running play, and this is Skyler Thornton. And he will have the first down as he takes it out across the 46 to the, the 36, out to the 37. Well, making sure that every offensive lineman gets the count of the snap. Faison takes it right up the middle. Check it, Skyler Thornton. See the bunch set 
over on the right side, but they go with the running play with Carton. And a flag is down. Show trying to play with 12 men on the field. It cost him 15 yards. New line of scrimmage. Way back down at the 23-yard line. Leap sets deep in the pocket. Now steps up right over the middle and missed his intended receiver, Thornton, for this first quarter started off like a house of fire. Now it's just grinding almost to a halt. Leap steps up, gonna be hit, and he was sacked by Naughton. Javon Naughton. And Wilbur will kick it away to Parrish. And here's his boot. Line drive, takes a bounce, and it gets by Parrish. Picks it up on the second hop and retreats all the way to the 27. And he's going to be tackled at the 33. That is a fine job of the special teams of Florida. So you can see Miami scrimmaging from their own 33-yard line. And they'll go with a short running play to Gore. Shotgun formation by Brock Berlin. That's Frank Gore just to his right. Gore, good job with the pickup. Almost intercepted in a pass. Berlin, one of six for three yards. Drills this one deep over the middle and in and out of the hands of his intended receiver, Moore. Third time that the Hurricanes have kicked tonight. Good high wobbly spiral and a good coverage kick. Fair catch called for and made by Brown. Faison straight ahead. Has five yards, still fighting, eight and nine. But that is the longest running play they've had on first down. And they'll give it to him again, and he's going to have the first down. First down to ten from the shotgun. They throw it out in the, the flat, Faison. 40, 45, and he's up to close to the 46-yard line. It's versus Florida, Florida State, and that's over 40 days, Ron. That may be a little reason why they're having a pro hard time getting things going. Oh. Third down, very short. You can see just a half yard is about what they need. As Mike DeGore pointing out the blocking assignments, and they go straight ahead with the running play, and they'll have the first down. And that is the end of the opening quarter, so let's take a timeout. 7 to nothing. Miami roared on top with a blocked field goal. Hester scored from 79 yards out. And that's how the score stands as we go to the second. Right back. Two wide receivers, and they got them bunched up as well, which means Miami has got about 10 guys within three and a half of the line of scrimmage, and Basin is going to be hit and tackled at the line of scrimmage. First half stats, 30 and 17, the total yards. And as we mentioned, Miami scored on a block kick. Pass caught, first down, down at the 33-yard line. As the game goes on. Mike at 16 yards. That's the longest play of the ball game on offense. Basin weaves his way inside the 30. He Miami creeping up, showing blitz, and they're just waiting for the run. And boy, the attack on Faison the minute he got the ball. And they need to start getting some points. Pressure off the corner, steps up, gonna run it. He'll have the first down, and he is tackled and slides down. Quarterback draw. He's gonna throw it. Got it complete. There's the first down. And now Skyler Thornton checks into the ball game at tailback. Number 25 replacing Faison. And they'll give it to him on the delayed draw. But he may have a couple. Faison back at the ball game at tailback. And this time, Leak will take it from under center. Loses the ball as he started to throw it, and he does only thing he can do. It was Natton who was there to look at Guerrero over there at left tackle. He's about a yard off the ball. Pumping, gonna run it. Now drills the safety valve at the 28 yard line. 20, and he'll slide down at the 16 is Chad Jackson. 34 yard attempt by Matt Leach. And he got it. So 9.55 left in the halftime, and our new score is Miami 7 and the Florida Gators 3. After this uh, Miami defense. Here's the kickoff. And it's going to come down to the one-yard line. It's going to be taken by Jenkins. Darnell Jenkins tries to hurdle the players, what they've done for the season and what it is tonight. First to 10 for Miami. 
pass caught by Parrish. Whoa, as he hit from behind. But it was a special teams touchdown. Miami. There's the first first down. Frank Gore is going to break it out out of the 30-yard line. We talked about they want to get him between 20 and 25 carries if they can. Offside. So it's still first down. Gore. Flag comes down. And I... Personal foul. Face mask. Whoa, big job. Berlin. Got a man wide open. Goes at the 40-yard line. It's Hill. Gore going to go for sure. Ball is loose. He lost it in the middle of the pile in Florida. That's Crowder making the recovery. Gore went into the pile and all of a sudden and you see the recovery coming up by Crowder. Crowd is booing but he doesn't have no. the ball totally right either. Definitely a fumble. Definitely. That is a good call by the officials facing it. In the ball game at tailback. Fakes it to him. Going to go on top. And intercepted, and that is picked off by Hester. Watch the speed. Hester will run out of bounds at the 34-yard line. The boy, when he makes a pickoff, you better gather some folks in a hurry. He had returned to 29 before they knew what was happening. Berlin, near sideline, got it complete. Pushed out of bounds, and then throws it away with an interception. I'll tell you, Berlin is doing something with the snap count. Before the snap, false start. Number seven, offense, inbound. Five-yard penalty, first down. Brock Berlin from the shotgun. Running play with Gore. Gets by one tacker, hit by a second, and knocked down by Jarvis Harry. As you said, he has been through a lot. Pressure up the middle. They set the screen, and the ball tipped and almost intercepted and caught by Miami at the 30-yard line. And John Roscoe Parrish right here, the favorite target. Near sideline. Ball is tipped. His receiver had not turned around. Field goal attempt. This is going to be from 37 yards away, so a 47-yard attempt. he got plenty of distance on it, and he got it. 47 yards on the field goal. Let's take a timeout. Our new score, 10-3 Miami. Just under six to play. Especially Chris Leak. Not look good. It's a high driving kick. Going to go four yards deep in the end zone. Going to be brought out by McCollum. McCollum at the 10. He's thinking, boy, it was a good idea about eight seconds ago. Faison and Thornton are in the backfield on this set. And to give it to Faison, left side has five, has ten, and it's a first down, I do believe. And it. Well, they spotted it right here. He did not pick up the first down, so it's second and short. And he'll get it again, and this time we'll pick it up. So, Faison, ten carries, 43 yards so far. This time, play action to him. And Link on top, going to go over the distance, and it is way overthrown. Chad Jackson shifts from the left side back over to the right. Pass thrown incomplete, and it was Jackson and Muggs. Third down. Rolls the pocket, now steps up, going to run a 25-30, and goes down well short of the mark. Driving spiral, the only problem, this is very returnable. Parrish on the run. 30, 35, 40, look out. He's gone. Counting the by 30, 20, 10, touchdown Miami. Two special teams touchdowns. Situation right now, they're getting ready to get blown out of here if they don't answer the score. Brian Monroe to kick it off. Here comes
Williams to return from the five out of the 20 to around the 23. On <laughs> it was a line drive in defense of the rest of the special team. Basin up the sideline. Crosses the 40. Out to the 45. And the Get you a little massage here. First down. Screen pass back into the boundary. Got it to Faison and woo. That one did not go very far. A really good graphic right there that you see what has happened with the offense. Three points on 83 yards, but almost it's two minutes and 20 seconds left until halftime. Leak. Safety valve near sideline, and he's got it to take Casey. Little shifting again here. Marie. Before the snap, false start. Number 72, offense. Five yard penalty. First down. Electronic response by ESB, and there was someone in the stands holding up the thing that said, bad call. <laughs> Just a little disclaimer I thought we should add. See after facing, but at five yards, six and seven. Eight of 12, one interception, 65 yards. Those are the numbers for Leak, and the running play is going to go close to the 31 and facing. And that's going to be a hold. Jackson in motion, movement again, flags all over the place. Caught by Jackson right over the middle. It would have been enough for the first down. But I... Offside, number 98, defense. The penalty is declined. Looks right over the middle and intercepted and what an effort picked off by Anthony Reddick and now they say he didn't hold on to it a bit because he is he's falling back as he falling throws the back ball. And he... gets this one has it complete ball is loose they'll say incomplete pass so it's third down and ten Jackson in motion He'll try to throw it again. Pressure right at the middle. The ball is delivered. Got a man there. Jackson could not hold on. Oh, boy. And this field goal attempt is going to come from 41 yards out. Plenty of distance. Did he get it? Wide left. No good. And Miami's going to make sure that there are no mistakes made. They're going to take a knee and just run the clock out as Brock Berlin goes down. And we are at halftime. So the Miami Hurricanes benefiting on 14 points from their special teams, leading 17-3 to at the intermission over their arch rivals. Our halftime score, Miami 17 and Florida 3. Now here's Reese Davis with the Dodge halftime report. Reese. And Florida's offense, 54 yards. Kick is going to be taken at the goal line. And that's Caldwell. Whoa, what a hit. Good heavens. Hello. Good, good mix. Run and pass. What a throw and first down. Got a step up. Here comes pressure. Ran into the umpire. Breaks the tackle. And is finally going to be tackled at the 23. So second down, and let's call it four. Faison. Boy, that, that is great pursuit defensively. Third down. Need to take it to the 27-yard line. Sings this one behind the intended receiver, O.J. Small. Driving spiral. Parrish back to the 33. Retreats. Tries to cut it upfield, and he gets tagged. It didn't take very long for him to receive that and go 73 yards. Gore tries to reverse it from the left over to the right. Defensive stats, Herring with four tackles for Florida to lead that team in the first uh, 30 minutes of play. Montreal Roll had five for Miami. Williams also had five. Pass deep over the middle and got it. Roscoe Parrish at the... Gore... Headgear comes off as the tackle is made at the 40-yard line. We have not played the first four minutes of the second half, but Miami with a good-looking drive going here and movement by the fullback Humphrey. No ladder. Snap. False start. Number 41. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Second down. It's 
Second down and long. Here goes a running play with Gore inside the 40. Down for around the 38. Coming if they so choose. 12 carries 45. Here's Gore. Hanging on to the tail of that uh, tackle. Almost broke out of it. And they're going to say two tight ends in the ball game for the Miami Hurricanes. Berlin looking for Gore down the sideline and he couldn't catch it. Here comes the flag. Pass interference. Pass interference. Number 27. Defense. Not playing the ball. 15 yard penalty. So following the penalty, it moves the line of scrimmage down to the 22 yard line of Florida. New set of downs. It's a take at motion number 15. Straight ahead with the running play. Gore will have a couple. Was a linebacker. It's very good speed. And then he put him with uh, his hand down, put him at defensive end because of his mobility. Well, the end zone, touchdown. Ryan Moore, 20 yards. John Petty with the extra point attempt. He's got it. 24 to 3, our new score. A three touchdown lead by the Miami Hurricanes. But that is the first offensive touchdown of the night by Miami. Moore grabs it, a 20 yard toss, and a very happy Brock Berlin. The Miami Hurricanes now leading this ball game by 21, 24 to 3. This kick is going to go five yards deep in the end zone, and Caldwell said, nope, let's. Mason gets the handoff. They have the reverse, and the tackle is made in Cornelius by Orion Harris. And they're not responding to this game challenged by Miami. Shovel pass right into the middle, and this is Mason. And he is still loose out of the 20. Throw the reverse out of the playbook against Miami because they're too quick. Third down, they need to take it to the 30-yard line. Deep over the middle, got a man who throws it complete to O.J. Small. Trick play. Now the swing and gate, and they snap it directly. Pitch it back to Faison. And Faison crosses the 50, and he's going to have a gain of very close to 15 yards in the play. Scott Thornton in the backfield. Steps up, going to try to run, and there is not much there for Chris Leak as Baraka Atkins. Well, they really are. Now Florida is trying to pick up the tempo. Third down and 14, and that's uh, Scott Thornton. Kind of. Andre Caldwell is wide to the right, down at the bottom of your screen, number five. Here comes pressure again. Arm was hit, and the ball almost caught at the 48 yard line by the Florida Gators. Pressure up the middle to get a good job of the personal protector coming up with a block. On the run and making the catch is Roscoe Parrish. For him now. Yes. yes. Tyrone Moss comes into the ball game at tailback. End around. Roscoe Parrish. And Roscoe's going to have about eight yards in the play. Looked at me yesterday and he said, Aaron, they're not going to lose tomorrow. Well, you know, Aaron, it's interesting. I talked to him before that, uh, the walkthrough yesterday. About to go into five minutes to play, third quarter. And here comes a running play off the left side with uh, Tyrone Moss. And as we had mentioned, that was the first offensive touchdown of the night. 14 points coming from special teams. And play action by Berlin. Rolls the pocket, drills the ball, perfectly thrown. And he's going to get a very generous spot on this. You think so? Yes. Too many milkshakes will do that. <laughs> Just let me know where you read it. I'll believe it. Whatever. Moss. Left side, turns the corner, look at the stiff arm. Almost picks up a first down. Now let's stay in this, on the uh, sky cam on this play and see exactly what it looks like directly from behind. Play action, pass over the middle, got his man open. Inside the 25 is Buck Ortega to tie it in. Getting ready to open up the floodgates. Running play here. Good hit, he's going to be stopped. And He's been a different quarterback. Has been. One of seven in the first half. Eight of nine in the second half. 93 yards. It's 90 more than he threw for in the entire first half. Quick pass right over the middle. Almost intercepted. It was thrown very hard. So it's third down. And the line to make is 
the 14. You see Florida creeping up, and here they come in the blitz. Off the corner, and the ball is intercepted after it was tipped, and this time Terrence Holmes makes good on a tipped ball. Missed the first one, came back and got the second one. Of the defender, and that allowed the ball to be intercepted by D. Webb. Basin. Had to go for short yardage. Leak. Again, under heavy pressure, just throws this one away. He is too good to be on the sideline. Lake holds up, throws, has the man open, and splits it with O.J. Small. Oh. And trail roll came a long way to come out and put up single coverage. They throw it the opposite direction and simply throw it away. Leak runs up into the pocket, 35-40, 45-50. At the 45, he'll slide down. And that is a very nice gain of 18 yards. And going to throw it after the play action. Going to go deep, wide open. Touchdown, Cornelius, 45 yards. Accepted by the Florida Gators by uh, Terrence Holmes. Extra point attempt is up and good. And the fan agrees with the offensive coordinator. Good call, he says. 45 ticks left in the third quarter. And the new score, 24 to 10, Miami. Pass. Yep, he really did. Yvonne Nett was all over him. This kick is going to go five yards deep and will not be returned by Hester. Well, the Florida faithful up and trying to make as much noise to get their team going as they can. Berlin with an audible. Here's Gore, and Frank's going to have about three and a half yards. 13 seconds left in the third quarter. Berlin right over the middle. Got Leggett, Leggett 40, 45, 50, finally pushed out of bounds. He'll stop the clock as it runs into double zeros. And I think we're about to ha handle the, the third quarter, put it into record books and say, let's head to the final 15. 29 yards in the pass play, and as we break, 24 to 10, the Miami Hurricanes on top. We'll be right back. Frank is about at an eight-yard drop right here. And they'll hand it to him. Cuts it right back up the middle and is going to have about five on the carry. Ray McDonald, 14 of their 24 points. On second down, Gore ahead of steam right up the middle, going to have the first down. That's a good, tough run by there, but a huge one at 6'5", 325. Berlin drills it complete, and that's Roscoe Parrish who comes back and does a nice job. At Zone incomplete. It's only five interceptions. See his numbers 11 of 21, 139, one touchdown, one interception. Gore being caught for the ankles as he goes inside the 20. Blitz coming off the corner, gets it away quickly. A little screen, and that's out to Sidoris Moss by John Petty, the sophomore from Clearwater. Good in a 47-yarder. This one is going to be a 32 yards near hash mark, and he splits it. That's a perfect kick right down the middle. So let's take a break. 11:52 left in the ball game. New score: 27 to 10, Miami. Happy sailing, my friend. Happy 2005, and many more to come. Cliff Davis. But it's always better when we reunite with all of you guys and ladies. Thank you. Pitchback comes in the run, and it's going to be uh, maybe a gain of a yard. And as coach. Nice pass over the middle, but going to go down immediately. O.J. Small, third down. 
45 yard line is where they need to take it. Near sideline. Caught. Did he catch it in bounds? No. Could not keep a foot in Dallas Baker. 73 yarder to his credit tonight. Return for a touchdown. High good coverage kick. This one's going to be difficult to return. Calls for the fair catch. It is so high. Run the football and run the clock. Frank Gore. Well, they closed that up quickly. Holmes on the tackle. Well, he has faced adversity, and uh, he's he's faced it and handled it very well. And uh, I'm sure that's what Larry's talking about. Here's Gore, very close to the first down, out of the 32. You know, they really, things are kind of going in the wrong direction. I thought, good head. Take the guys back that left early to go to the draft the last two years, and they probably would have been in the national championship game. Tells you a little bit about their recruiting. You know? and, and plus the fact, so many of those quality guys come from right there in the Miami area. That play is not going to go for very much at all. Eight minutes left in our ball game. The left footer. Driving spirals, going to hit at the 30. Brown ran away from it. It's going to cost him another nine yards. Deep over the middle, got a man there. They all oh, couldn't hold on to it. And that was Reggie Lewis who here in preparation for that Fiesta Bowl against Pitt. And uh, we wish Utah the very best. And uh, sorry that we uh, could not get together on that interview, but we appreciate him trying. An hour and 11 minutes left. In 04. Gonna run it. 25, 30, 35. It'll slide down at the uh, 38. In about 11 minutes to uh, to work on that, Mike. Okay. And I'm sure, you know, I mean, but I'll come up with something. Boy, he started to fall as he threw the ball and then just. Difficult position to be put in. Well, they set up the screen. You saw the pressure coming. This could go a long way. 45 at the 50 and a good job of coming up from behind. That's Baraka Atkins playing his last game. Blake throws to short safety valve, but that one right there to Thornton. Scott and Thornton. Will Concentration. You know, Thornton on the running play hit immediately, uh, you know, in the midsection. Is anybody that I've seen this year. Going to go for the end zone. Got a man, a little push off there. No flag and an incomplete. Uh, well, they set a screen to the near side, and this one is. Wow. And lofted up there. Fourth down, and they need to take it down to the nine yard line. They want to keep this drive going. Chris Lee steps up. Here comes pressure. And it's from McCray who just came into the ball game. But the ball is thrown and knocked away. It is incomplete. It is Antrell Roll working against O.J. Small. This is Gore. Turns the corner. 20 and is knocked down hard at the 23. As uh, coming in was uh, McCray came off fresh. Applied pressure on the play and the pass thrown incomplete. The ball is loose at the 22. Got vacated when that quarterback was getting stepped up. Play action. Far sideline. Got it complete. Gambled. And Roscoe Parrish made the catch. And he's going to pick up another 20 yards in the play. Gore slides down. Yeah, Talk about some good young players. They are there. Gore again. Nothing to the left. Puts a head down and he'll salvage the play. Pick up about three yards. Should be one really fine football game. Looking forward to that. Going to go on top on first down. And the ball hits the receiver. Ronaldo Hill knocked it away. But I started to say that that's a little un unfair if you're Devin Hester or, uh, or Roscoe Parrish. <laughs> so field goal, he ran it back, so Hester still made it pay. Good leak with the run here, and he's going to have a first down out at the 48. A matchup as uh, we will have seen in some time. Don't you agree? Yes, I do agree, but I also going to say this. 
BCS does some good things, but Auburn not being able to play for the championship is not good. If you sit around with too much pull me, pull me, those other folks get scholarships too, and you can wind up getting thumped. And that's not the way they want to end the year. Well, this one just thrown away. It'll stop the clock at 210. And they're, they're on a real up right now. About to go into two minutes to play. You could run this one. 30, 25, down to the 20, and they'll slide free. Yep. That's uh, that football game today did, did not disappoint anybody. Pass caught at the 10 yard line, and he'll be shoved out of bounds, and it's Eric Rutledge. He was super. Won the Bobby Dodd National Coach of the Year Award. Leak just throws this one away to get out home. No, that thing may have been intercepted. He tried to throw it away. Did he keep his feet in bounds? I just said the ball is going to come back out to the 20-yard line, and it's Kelly Jennings. Look what a job. He was trying to throw that ball away, and Jennings planted his toes. Charlie Jones into the backfield, number 34. It's Ortega in motion. They give it to Charlie Jones. Left side. Charlie's going to take a 25 out close to the 30. That's a well, straight ahead with the quarterback sneak, and that'll be a first down. And now Miami will uh, take a knee as the clock runs down to 45 seconds. Brock Berlin will go down. It'll be a big victory for the Miami Hurricanes, and they will continue their dominance over the other two schools in the state of Florida. Takes the knee, Berlin, with two fingers high in the air. And it's going to be a 27 to 10 victory by the Miami Hurricanes. As Larry Coker goes sprinting to the middle of the field to uh, shake hands with and a, and a hug for Charlie Strong. So the final score, Miami 27 and Florida 10. Coming up next on ESPN at Sports Center. Now for more.